Friday, November 27. So this is what's happening at the moment. We got this dump closed above the 21 exponential and the 20 move simple here. So it's still above support, but today we are just ranging, liquidating people and trying to decide what it's doing. If we close the day like we are now, it's tricky, we will go down. If this is just a week when we close the day in 12 hours, maybe the price will go up and closes, for instance, here and ranging. And the resistance will be the 12 exponential here on the 17,650 more or less. Alongside with this week here, put more light, okay, yeah. And basically this week here didn't touch it. We are rejecting this area here only. And then the bigger area, it's this area here, basically the 18,500, 600, like this. So these are the resistance now from the 12 until this area here, which I think will be around here to here, but basically here. Okay. So this is what we are doing, indicators on the daily are pointing down. The CME closed for the weekend still above support, so and the market is closed, so it's a matter of waiting. Maybe when it opens, we will know if we go, go come here and down, or if we hold range here and then try to push for new whole time highs, who knows, but indicators are still pointing down extreme greed still and overbought for a lot of time so this might be just the start of the distribution even if we have a new like a week here or whatever and then maybe down but who knows we might do an all-time high by the end of the month we are on the 27th so three more days and let's see what we do with these 21 old here, but indicators are putting down, so it might hold. We come up, reject here and down, or we hold and go up. Who knows? Okay, so this was the CME. So back to Coinbase, we are ranging here. So on the four hours, we are trying to do a higher low here with this week, but remember, we have the 200 exponential and the 200 simple here and who knows if there's a week coming here and then pushing higher who knows but we are already starting already in the oversold so so we might just manage to hold here maybe we might come back down here but i don't know let's see if this holds on the four hours it's one hour and 20 minutes for the candle to close if it holds here, we might go up. So one hour. So this is where we are now. We have this trend line. It's trying to ranging here. This is the support. There's another support. I'll put uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the range I had for a buy. I thought we will go up from here, but suddenly we closed down and now we are facing this resistance. But this area until this week here, which is this area here, it's still support. So let's see what if what happens. So basically this seems like inverted head and shoulders. Shoulder, inverted head shoulder being created maybe until here or here where we are until maybe here and then maybe tries to go up who knows remember the daily closed bullish so might this might be just a week maybe even even if we come down here and then when we close we close already above the daily 21 moving average so we are facing resistance here on the monthly week from 2017 and this is the weekly support and resistance we are support having the support we can break if we break this we go down but we are already in over oversold so seems like we want to go up we are just ranging 
try to go up, although this rejection was strong, but let's see if it holds here or if we come around here to see if this holds. If this doesn't hold, we go for the four hours to the 200 moving averages. And let's see if, if we have a, a bounce from there or we crash. So, but basically it's, uh, everything is still the same. So if you look at here, we are rejecting this trend line, especially on, on Bitstamp, we already rejected it. We are still holding the support here, weekly support. And remember the goal for a calm down here on the indicators will be the 12 here or m most important with the 12 is alongside this week which I said before on the 14k we have this big area here around 11 11.7 12k so 12k and this area here and then of course if we lose these two moving averages it's very tricky we start to come down big time but there's still a chance that this area might hold as well here on the 9.4 or even on the 9.7 on the CME gap. But this should hold like before on the bull market. These are the buy areas until here, but they need to close. The weekly needs to close above these two moving averages. If we close below, it's tricky. So that's the goal. We come down on the indicators. We might go up a little bit, even do a all-time high soon. I don't know if we'll this candle or next week, and then we'll do an all-time high, and then maybe down, or we come down already from here to the moving averages. Remember that on euros, as we can see, we already came down here. We didn't touch the 21 and the 20, but we touched the 12. So this seems like quite bullish, but because this is euros, indicators are still pointing down and the dollars also. So let's see if the dollar pairing does the same as this, and this will be just doing the same, or, or we hold this area. Okay, so seems like this is it. This is now Bitstamp, so on Bitstamp we rejected this trend line that comes from here, from the past. We are facing this rejection, this area. And back to the daily, so, so we are still ranging. This is the week. We need to close above this week basically and especially above the 21 to be bullish indicators are still pointing down so let's see what we do if this holds or if we come a bit down here if this doesn't hold we have the 200s and the 277 on the four hours remember that on the four hours now the 21 all this is resistance basically the 21 the 20 the 50 and we are facing resistance here on the 89 and the 100 let's see if one hour to go one hour and 15 if this holds to try to push higher from here even if we range a little bit here or if we come down to these lower levels Okay, so Ethereum, just one more. Ethereum still ranging, so we already re rejected the 12, and now we are trying to hold the 21 and the 20. Let's see if it holds on the daily. At least we closed above here, but we already face resistance here. Let's see if this one goes down, maybe Bitcoin will do the same indicators are pointing down but still can have another to try at least to here who knows but doesn't look so good but still holding the support so it's a matter of wait 12 more hours to see what we do litecoin 
So Litecoin is here trying to hold this support and needs to hold basically this area. To see, now it's facing resistance on the 21, so don't know if we come back down one more time. This is the area to buy for a bigger crash. It's to hold the 42. This is the area to buy. But if this holds this week, maybe we push higher from here. This is support, this is support, this is support. We already tested it. And now on the one hour, the week is here. Low, higher, low, higher, low. Let's see if we push higher from this area can even do something not like this actually this was already a rejection this week there was a rejection here so let's see if it holds or not for with this higher low okay so one what more ripple so it's still holding the 200, 200 simple, 200 exponential, rejecting the 21 and ranging. So we might just be ranging here, from here to here and decide what to do. But these are the 200s, so they have enough strength, so we might go up 200 simple, 200 exponential. And who knows if we manage to push up higher. Okay, no need to check more. Back to the daily. So we are quite high, so holding the 12, but we have the 21 and the 20. And this, all this area here will be a buy area for a big move if Bitcoin moves as well. After all this accumulation here, we might have another retest from this area here which is here on the 25 this is euros so 25 euros this area to see if we have a big push otherwise we can go down if bitcoin goes down big time okay i think that's it just a quick check on gold so gold only the 200s on the daily, but not looking so good. Let's see if we still manage to come here to this area. Otherwise, if we close below this horizontal and plus the 200, next stop will be here. Let's see if it will show some strength from here. NASDAQ. Still fine. I mean, we are compressing on this triangle. Higher lows, higher low or above the 21, but we are doing lower highs as well. So we are just compressing, holding the 200. So it's still fine for now. Who knows if we push higher here and then maybe here. Who knows? Or we just go up from there. Seems like the distribution is starting at least. We are rejecting one rejections, two rejections, three rejections, four reje rejections. At the moment still not being able to go above this area. Let's see if it manages to close above here at least. Otherwise we come down. And the S&P looking stronger we are already here above this trend line maybe we come down here to try to push higher and the 200s are here we got a retest on this trend line with this hammer here higher lows and let's see if we do another push otherwise this is like a double top and we might go come down but i think we still have a push up And that to Bitcoin. So basically back to the weekly. 
still holding here daily so on the daily we have all these supports on the previous bull runs we always hold the, the 200s which are here and this is the 11.7 area so i think this is a strong area plus this one for a week and then closing above here if we manage if we come down and we don't hold and we close below the 21 then we might have just some liquidations and push down let's see for now it's still fine and ranging let's see if we find strength to push higher otherwise we will keep rejecting the 21 and the price will come down let's see shoulder inverted head shoulder this was a head and shoulders shoulder head shoulder down but this is a big range like shoulder head shoulder so it might still come here to this area and hold to try to close the day above the 20